Cantanti. It's Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, joining you for episode 30 of Quick Singing Tips. Today we're visiting Little Italy. Little Italy is a small section of New York that used to be home to thousands of Italian immigrants. These days, it's best known as a place to get a really good Italian meal. Which leads us to our question for the day from Sandeepa D in Surat, India. Sandeepa writes, Dear Justin, I'm a pro singer that struggles with acid reflux. Can acid reflux ruin my voice permanently? That's an excellent question, Sandeepa. Acid reflux is indeed one of the biggest vocal killers. But there's hope for you and anyone struggling with reflux. And that's what we're going to explore today. But first, let's answer the question, what is acid reflux? Acid reflux is more specifically gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. What happens is stomach acids that help you process the food can sometimes come up into the esophagus. For some people, this is caused by a problem with the lower esophageal sphincter. This can often feel like heartburn or chest discomfort. Another type of acid reflux is laryngopharyngeal reflux, or LPR. This is the kind we need to be concerned about as singers. With LPR, acid actually makes it up into the larynx and can sort of burn your vocal folds. You might never feel any heartburn symptoms with LPR. Instead, LPR can result in inflamed vocal folds, hoarseness, loss of range, or the feeling of having to clear the throat all the time. <clears throat> Pretty bad stuff for sure. So it's important to know what causes acid reflux. The most obvious cause of reflux is dietary issues. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with sitting down to a delicious Italian meal like this one. But if you struggle with reflux, you might just have to think twice about when and how often you indulge. Here's a list of foods that can sometimes cause acid reflux. Tomatoes, garlic, onions, cheese, spicy foods, fatty foods, fried foods, citrus, chocolate, alcohol, caffeine, so you know, basically everything good. But there's hope. Acid reflux is not a death sentence for the foodie in you. You can still enjoy a great meal. Just a matter of making some changes that'll help keep you acid reflux free. Here are some ways to make sure that acid reflux doesn't ruin your singing voice. Number one, determine your trigger foods. Like I said, don't freak out and think you can never enjoy your food ever again. But you've got to experiment. Find out which foods from the list your body is especially sensitive to. Some people can eat almost anything and not struggle with reflux. So listen to your body and determine what you can tolerate. Number two, time your indulgences. Once you know your trigger foods, steer clear of those foods whenever you've got a big audition, performance, or recording session coming up. If you perform eight shows a week or you're on tour like some of my pro singers, you might have to cut out some of those worst trigger foods for the sake of your career. But the average singer can time their indulgences to not coincide with big vocal events. Number three, Get back to your fighting weight. If you're overweight, your chances of acid reflux skyrocket. So consider working with a personal trainer or a nutritionist to get yourself back to that fighting weight. Cardiovascular exercise, strength training, and a healthy diet high in protein, vegetables, and water can work some wonders. Number four, don't sleep on it. Acid reflux is not something to sleep on. Sleeping with a full stomach and lying flat is a recipe for disaster. 
when you lay flat, it's much easier for stomach acids to come up into the esophagus and larynx. Try to avoid eating within three hours of bedtime. It's also very helpful to sleep with an inclined pillow that keeps your head above your stomach. And number five, see a doctor. If acid reflux is chronic, you've got to see a specialist about it. It's rare for reflux to require surgery. Most of the time it can be fixed with some of the lifestyle changes we've talked about today. But a doctor also might prescribe medications for you to help get your reflux under control. Just remember though, these medications should be temporary in most cases. You don't want to be taking acid reflux meds for long time periods. So, bon appetito. If you follow these five steps, I have no doubt that you can stop acid reflux from wreaking havoc on your singing voice. Here's some other ways to keep your voice happy and healthy. For voice lessons or Skype lessons with the NYVC staff, visit us at NewYorkVocalCoaching.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do at home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course. This 12-part program takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find it at voicelessonstotheworld.com. Or if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. And now, here's Justin with this week's vocal benediction. Your body is a temple. And yes, sometimes bad stuff comes bubbling up and tries to destroy you. But it won't destroy you because your voice also comes bubbling up from deep inside you for joy, for healing, and for victory. So here's to healthy singing always being on the menu. I eat the answer pasta twice just because she is so nice. Angelina. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. I eat the soup with them and a strong just to be with her alone. Angelina. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria.